YouTube, what is going on? Everyone is the most glorious content creator on every platform you can think of. It's your boy, Tips Gaming. And today, oh baby, today was a spicy one. Uh, today, the new stuff for Destiny 2 has dropped uh, for Season of the Splicer, Season 14. And I decided that we're going to do a blind reaction and we're going to react to everything and show you guys on YouTube and we'll get my thoughts on it and have a little bit of a discussion on it and hopefully this is bringing some good good stuff uh, in light for Destiny um, after the whole controversy with Transmog. So, I'm not going to waste any more time. We're going to get right into it. As you all can see, I'm currently live on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash dibsgaming. Link will be in the description below. So do me a favor if you haven't already. Hit the follow button over here on Twitch. Uh, but let's get into it. All right. Uh, we're going to get rid of the overlay. We'll get rid of the overlay for right now. Season of the Splicer. Beginning May 11, 2021. Also known as my birthday. Remember it. Remember to wish me a happy birthday on May 11th. Chat, smiley face. Uh, it's more important. Uh, to August 24th. Um... We haven't actually seen everything yet, so I think we're just going to dive into the gameplay trailer right off the rip. So, let's do that. This kind of looks like, uh, Prophecy. Like a, a different version of Prophecy. This morning, for the first what up, Ikora? Osiris and I could only think of one we might turn to. Mithrax. He claims to be among the last sacred... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please hold. Osiris and I could only think of one we might turn to. Mithrax. He claims... Are those little fallen? Are those baby fallen? Are you kidding me? Okay. We knew this. What was that hunter outfit? Hello? Let's. Okay. Obviously, we already knew we we're going back to the Vault of Glass. Cryostesia? That side of the- It's a fucking stasis side of- Oh my god, my poor PvP mains. Oh my god, it's a side on that freezes. What'd that say? That said new weekly mission? New weekly mission. Okay. Okay. So that's season of the splicer. So it looks like. It... So we're gonna go back a little bit, and I'm gonna lower the volume. Um. <clears throat> this morning, for the first time in humanity's long and storied history, the sun did not rise. It's a vector simulation that has plunged the city into an endless night. 
Okay, so it looks like the Vex have somehow um, manipulated Earth so that we are stuck in an endless night and the sun hasn't risen. So now I get... Now I guess we have to go into the simulation. I'm just trying to think. I'm thinking the story-wise uh, and uh, and the narrative of this season. So we're t we're shying away from uh, season of the chosen, where <clears throat> excuse me, um, where we're bouncing a little back and forth with um, the crow and whatnot, um, with. Uh, Keitel and the Cabal, and they're facing Sabbath. They're facing uh, Zivor Wrath, and now we're shifting focus toward the Vex. Okay, so so we're partnering up again with Mithrax. A little baby fallen. <laughs> we got a little, little, little chunky fallen. Little babies. I don't know what the hell Mithrax just threw into the. He just created like a a portal, which is kind of cool. Find him, Guardian. We need to talk about this. We need to talk about the armor. What in the sweet Sand Hill shit am I looking at? The Titan. I I can't stand how ugly Titan armor has has gotten over the years, man. I. Also, if you you guys are hearing that in the background, that's my that's uh my company messenger. So I apologize in the YouTube for uh, for all the YouTube. Please forgive me. Bad content creator. LOL. Forehead. Um, the warlock armor looks like a fish. Hunter armor actually looks kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie, the hunter armor looks kind of sick. Except for the cloak. We haven't had a good cloak in forever. Also, we also we looked at new. I'm assuming these are brand new guns. They look like a shotgun. That looks like a pulse rifle. Um, that looks like a new sidearm as well. I'm assuming this is like the new seasonal, seasonal weapons. We're getting a brand new six-player match made activity. Uh, kind of similar to um, what was the one? In, what was the uh, the one for uh, season of us? Uh, the Osiris one with St. 14th season of um it's escaping me I'm sorry but look, we're getting a six ma a six man match made activity look cool I don't know what the hell that hunter's wearing it looks like he's showing uh, the time vault thing yes yeah, see boy um I don't know why my, my boy over here showed up in jeans I have no idea why When you realize it, when you forget it wasn't casual Friday, it's not casual Friday. <laughs> or, <laughs> or when you've been working at home for a year and you have to go back to the office. My man, everyone showed up all decked out in drip and everything. My man showed up in sweatpants. Uh, leave it to the hunters. I want to know who's talking to us. I want to know who's talking to us. Uh, in this. Obviously, all, that that's definitely a shotgun. Oh, we're gonna open up a portal. I'm assuming, like, after we kill, like, a bunch of ads, we'll open up, the, we'll get access to open up this portal. Uh, yeah, we'll open up this portal into... Into Tron Legacy, it looks like. It looks like we're It looks like I'm back in the Matrix. And we're gonna fight the big boss. Shoot, shooty, McShooty, gun, gun, and whatever. We need transmogs coming. I'm never gonna wear those jeans ever. The time lost. Okay, so I know that they said that there was gonna be no narrative changes to Vault of Glass, but you have to almost think that like this whole Vex time gating and time traveling and whatever and and simulation stuff is going to push the narrative to go into the Vault of Glass. Which, that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comment section if if you have any other theories of anything of the sorts. I still think that there's, there's going to be no narrative changes to Vault of Glass itself. But I think there's going to be a narrative change to why we're going back to the Vault of Glass. That's just me, though. <clears throat> New Season Pass... 
exotic cryosthesia 77k chat it's a motherfucking stasis sidearm oh no oh no 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 they said they were gonna do it i didn't think the mad lads at bungo were serious but they're actually introducing more stasis weapons sickos sick freaks The community's gonna be up in arms about this shit. Okay. Well, that's Season of the Splicer chat. Honestly, it looks really good. It's looking really good. Well, I'm saying chat and, and also YouTube. Um, it's looking really good. I'm very excited. I'm very excited to be spending, like, my actual birthday playing. I'm gonna be playing this after work. Uh, obviously, I gotta go be a big boy and and and, and work. So we will be streaming Destiny Two on on, uh, on season launch day of May eleventh, aka my birthday. Smiley face uh, at around seven p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, be there. Twitch.tv slash Tips Gaming will be in the description. Um, okay. So really quick, we'll breeze over this. An endless night. The Vex have plunged the last city into an endless night, threatening the safety. Uh, once found beneath the watchful presence of the Traveler, it is here. Bathed in perpetual moonlight that Akora reveals the identity of an unlikely ally that may hold the keys to try triumphing over this attack. And it's Mithrax. Mithrax, Kel of the House of Light, leads a small group of Elixir who wish to be closer to the Traveler. As a sacred splicer, he possesses the knowledge needed to combat the Vex technology that ensnares the last city. There is a bond of light shared here. Will it be enough? Helm underscore upgrade.exe. New chamber overlooking the loading bay has been completed. There's, it is here that the Vanguard will harness and the new splicer tech. All right, so they're utilizing the helm uh, in season 14, which is very, honestly, I, I'm, I'm all for. Good that they're bringing in this, they brought in this new social space and they're actually utilizing it. Um, this is just a picture for Override. Fireteam 6 will use splicer tech to hack. Vex network uncover their secrets, steal their code, use their power against them. Looks good. Looks good. Expunge is the each is the weekly mission. Guardians will uncover new vulnerabilities of the Vex network. Use splicer keys to infiltrate collapse within. So it looks like we're going into the matrix again. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I love the color scheme of of all of these levels. I like the 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 vibrant Miami Vice kind kind of futuristic look that they went with. Uh, it's very attractive to me, but I digress on that on that aspect. I think it looks very good. As we all know, it's free for all players. Interesting, free to play. Vault of Glass. The time loss rate returns. Sort of way deep in the Vault of Glass. And Venus is Atheon times conflux. No one knows what this vex is. Guardian is supposed to access the access the vault. I have to. You have to think that there's going to be a narrative moving toward Vault of Glass, just not in the actual raid itself. That's just me, though. Bungie rewards that Vault of Glass jacket. Ooh, baby. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I want it. The raid ring. Bro, that ring! The Vault of Glass seal. Oh, that ring looks so good. Uh, we know all about Transmog. Uh, if you haven't already been updated with all the Transmog stuff, go read the TWAB. Listen, listen and watch your favorite Destiny 2 YouTubers uh, talk about it and everything of that sort. Uh, this has all been covered. But here's where the good shit is. Armaments over 30 new repro... 30 new and reprised legendary weapons to crash the Vex network with. These weapons... Oh my goodness, these look gorgeous. These are beautiful. I love these. Oh my god, they look so good. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Uh, we're getting into heart... We're getting... Are these exotics? Star Eater Scales allows hunters to feast upon orbs of power, charging the super more quickly and making it more potent. This is going to be... Dis this might be disgusting for PvE. This might be disgusting for PvE. Uh, I've been needing a good... Uh, a new, another PvE exotic for the hunter. 
uh, to run end game level PVE stuff. This might be that might be a chief. That's spicy. The Path of the Burning Steps, the Titan Armor that converts solar eliminations into increased weapon damage and makes them more difficult to lock down with stasis. Got ourselves a counter to stasis, chat if you're a Titan. Pog. Boots of the Assembler. Condenses a, war condenses a warlock's rifts, healing, or empowering energy into projectiles that seek out the That's crazy. That look, that's, that's insane. Honestly, all in all, good pieces of exotic armor, honestly, all have good benefits. Uh, very intrigued to see how they play out in the game. Here's the nitty gritty season pass. The season, the, uh, uh, honestly, Hunter's won season pass armor. Last year, the season 13's uh, armor sucked. Big dickhead for the Titan. I don't know what... I don't even remember what the Hunter and the Warlock looked like, but... I think the Hunter's got the, got the better look here. Out of all the three pieces of armor. I'm interested to see the ornaments. Uh, season Pass gear, XP rewards. Season Pass is unlocked. New exotic stasis sidearm. Oh, man. Also get XP boost as feet of seasonal ranks reward that track unlocks. Um, these are just some pictures, some FAQ. Uh, we have the calendar. I'll take a look at that in a second. But this, oh man, I can't imagine how much trouble this is going to cause in the in the Crucible chat. Oh man, a oh, stasis side on. I'm cu I'm curious, but let's quickly. Um, oh, you can actually see the whole season pass. Uh. It about the same as usual. Yeah, about the same as usual. Alright, so these are the ornament. These are actually... That ornament looks good for that side arm. So, the ones that we've seen... The pieces of armor that we see... That we see up here... They're actually in the trailer. I mean, th these are the uh, ornaments. Let's take a look at the calendar really quick. May 11th, the Troll Mission Armor Synthesis. The Endless Night Begins. New Stasis Aspect Quests. The override opens in Europa. Trials of Osiris begins that Friday. Ooh, the week, the weekly reset right after Iron Banner starts. And then we get the override on the moon. Vault of Glass launches May 22nd. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be streaming that day for a day one completion. Praying for it, honestly. Uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to be grinding this song. I'm, I'm VOG ready. Uh, weekly Pinnacle mission opens up on the 25th. Override on the Tangled Shore. Uh, weekly Pinnacle mission. Iron Banner, Pinnacle Mission, Pinnacle Mission, Pinnacle Mission, Pinnacle Mission. Uh, ooh, June 15th, Raid Challenges open up. That's going to be... Okay. Solstice of Heroes start July 6th. Um, Sabathun, uh, Witch Queen is delayed till next year. So this is going to be the first time that Solstice of Heroes isn't leading up to the next season. I mean, leading up to the next like uh, year of Destiny. But that's that's gonna be it, chat, and and, and YouTube. That's gonna be uh, that season of the Splicer. That's that's my reaction and thoughts for season of the Splicer, season fourteen of Destiny Two. Um, I'm excited, man. I'm really am, um, boys and girls. I'm really really excited. Um, I love this game so much. I know it has its up its peaks and valleys, but I love this game so much, and I. Hope that it remains enjoyable and 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 um, prevalent for a long time. And I hope I hope that we as the community continue to give feedback constructively and respectfully, so that this game can thrive for years and years to come, and this franchise can thrive for years and years to come. But I'm done here. I have given you guys my thoughts, and I've given you guys my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button down below. Ring the bell for notifications for your next glorious YouTube upload to come. Uh, I haven't already dropped this video a like if you enjoyed. Uh, leave me a comment down below. What are your thoughts for Season 14 as we approach the home stretch? Let me know what you what are you excited for? What are you worried about? Let me know your your pros and cons of this season. I would love to know. I greatly appreciate all of you. Thank you so much as always.
Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And above all else, be glorious, baby. And I'll catch you in the next one.